And that is going to result in a very different outcome for bonds because inflation is the bond killer. And so investors should not be buying bonds because the economy is going into recession. They should be buying gold. Gold is the safe haven, not bonds. There is no safety in bonds when the threat is inflation because that is the threat. An economic slowdown or a recession financial crisis causes more inflation. In a stark analysis, Peter Schiff dismantles the narrative of a strong labor market, pointing to the prolonged unemployment and the erosion of job quality, painting a picture of an economy in decline. Schiff challenges the prevailing optimism, highlighting the looming crisis in commercial real estate, a concern he has been vocal about for some time. Contrary to bond market trends, Schiff warns against the misconception that buying bonds is a safe haven, emphasizing gold as the true refuge in the face of inflation and economic downturns. Schiff's insights underscore the importance of re-evaluating traditional safe haven assets amid the evolving financial landscape. With that, let's dive into the video to hear his full thesis. Now, the fact that people are staying unemployed for so long, that belies the idea that we have a strong labor market. They keep talking about the strong labor market, including Powell again today, about the strong labor market. Well, if it's such a strong labor market, why is it taking people so long to get a new job when they lose their old job? And of course, when they lose their job, they tend to lose a good job and they replace it with a lousy job. In fact, the job they get is so lousy, they knew two or three of them uh, just to make up for the one good job uh, that they lost. So the economy is shrinking. All of the uh, the, the numbers are screaming stagflation, which is what I have been uh, talking about for a long, long time. You know, by the way, I, I read this article uh, today. Uh, um, Kevin O'Leary, a.k.a. Mr. Wonderful, was quoted as saying that something is happening that nobody saw coming, right? Nobody predicted this. And he's talking about the problem in commercial real estate and the fact that you have all these vacancies and prices are falling and now banks are in trouble. I mean, what do you mean? What does he mean nobody saw this coming? I mean, I saw this coming from a mile away. I mean, Kevin O'Leary ought to know that I saw it coming. He follows me on Twitter. I've been tweeting about it or, or posting about it now that it's no longer Twitter. But these things were obvious and they're happening. And that, 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 that problem is still festering. It's, it's, it's going to blow up, but that's another thing that is going to be stagflationary and bullish for the, uh, the gold market. Now, of course, the, the bond market still doesn't get it because bonds rallied quite a bit from their lows. In fact, the yield on a 30-year treasury is back down to 4.4. We were at 5%. And on a 10-year, it's 4.226. That was above 5%. Now, why are bond investors buying or why are the shorts covering in, in the bond market? Because they think, oh, the Fed's going to start cutting rates. The economy is weak. But the weak economy, it's not going to be the same as what we had in these prior cycles because inflation and budget deficits are going to explode in this next economic downturn. And that is going to result in a very different outcome for bonds because inflation is the bond killer. And so investors should not be buying bonds because the economy is going into recession. They should be buying gold. Gold is the safe haven, not bonds. There is no safety in bonds when the threat is inflation because that is the threat. An economic slowdown or a recession financial crisis causes more inflation. In this next segment, as markets respond to Powell's comments, Peter Schiff offers a critical perspective, noting the Dow Jones hitting a 52-week high. However, Schiff warns that the apparent market optimism stems from a misconception that the Fed is done hiking rates and may resort to quantitative easing. He predicts a turbulent path ahead as inflation takes center stage causing the dollar to decline and commodity prices to surge. Schiff emphasizes the potential for substantial increases in the Consumer Price Index, CPI, 
and cautions against underestimating the impact of inflation on the economy. That's what nobody seems to get, including uh, Chair Powell. In fact, maybe this is a good time to transition into uh, Powell's uh, comments today. I mean, a lot of people thought that, you know, some of the things that Powell said today was a catalyst, and not just gold. I mean, the Dow Jones hit a 52-week high today. It was up about 300 points or almost. It was the only major stock market index to hit a 52-week high on the day. Uh, but, you know, it was a huge month for stocks uh, in, um, in November. I don't uh, have all the numbers. I was too busy, uh, you know, to try to compile them. But I know it was a big month. It's a, it was, you know, the best month maybe in years uh, for November, which is typically, you know, seasonally November is a strong month. A lot of times you have weakness in uh, September, October time frame, and then you get a, a rebound November and probably December too. You get, you know, they call it a Santa Claus uh, rally. And a lot of times people start buying back some of the stocks they sold uh, when they were harvesting their, their tax losses. But this big move up in everything uh, was the result of the markets uh, perceiving that the Fed is done hiking and it's back to the same old, same old. We're going to have, you know, rate cuts and maybe they're going to go back to quantitative easing. In fact, they're going to have to go back to quantitative easing. Uh, but it's not going to have the, so, the benign, the apparently benign effect because the inflation genie is out of the bottle. And that you know, destroys the party uh, because everything is going to go right into consumer prices now because the dollar is going to tank as the markets come to term with this. And then commodity prices are going to explode and you're going to start to see big increases in the, the CPI. In fact, you know, one of the things that Powell mentioned, uh, and he got a few laughs, you know, he, he, he gave a short speech and then did a Q&A at Spelman College, which is the Atlanta College. It's, uh, you know, pretty much all black, all female uh, college. Uh, and so he was down there talking to uh, the students. And I think the last question he was asked before they opened it up and he took questions from the students. Initially, he gave a little talk and then I guess there was a faculty member who followed up and asked him a few questions and then she opened it up to the student body and there was a few questions there. Uh, and the students actually asked some pretty decent questions. The problem was his answers, not so much their questions. So, although some of them were focused uh, on what he's going to do about uh, uh, income inequality, uh, you know, for race, for you know, black income inequality, which, which is nothing. There's nothing he could do, although his policies are undermining uh, income inequality. He just doesn't realize it because inflation is doing a lot of damage. Today's insights from Peter Schiff shed light on the challenges in the labor market, the looming crisis in commercial real estate, and the Federal Reserve's role in it all. As we navigate through these economic uncertainties, it's crucial to stay informed. If you found this analysis valuable, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your engagement is essential in fostering a community of informed investors. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to your continued support on our channel. Stay tuned for more updates and analysis. Until next time.